It's John Krasinski. It's Krasinski. Krasinski. Oh, John, John Krasinski. John Krasinski is some good news. SGN. I'm sure that you've seen it. It has been making waves in this time of just the chaos of 2020. As a news outlet source, I don't know, like late night show vibey series where it covers a number of great news stories in a sort of episodic format like late night TV. So on top of great news stories of people sharing goodness in the world, you also have your celebrity cameos on top of some really cool giveaways. At one point, AT&T paired up, I'll link the article down below, to donate three months of fees covering the cell phone bills of every nurse and doctor under a certain plan. But I wanna bring this into behavior analysis. That's what this channel is about, behavioral science, what the science of behavior can offer, and ask one of my colleagues, Sarah Trotman, what she thought was some of the good news going on in behavior analysis, despite everything burning down around us. John it's Krasinski. 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 Oh, John, John Krasinski. John Krasinski. Some good news. I think was like so well timed because we needed something like that. And you mean you don't want to read about everything being terrible constantly all the time in every media outlet that has ever existed? Exactly. <laughs> and um, I guess two things. First of all, I think it'd be cool to replicate some good news and behavior analysis. Agreed. So, do you have any good news yes. about behavior analysis? Yes. And then we'll get to my other one. Okay. What is my good news about behavior analysis? I have been talking about this now for the last two and a half months. What is it? My favorite thing that has happened as an output of COVID-19 and behavior analysis is the type of open sharing and collaboration that's been happening in our field. I have been in behavior analysis for over 20 years and I've never experienced this in my career where people are so willing to share resources, articles, get in conversations, talk, chat, Zoom, whatever. And that's been my favorite, favorite thing about behavior analysis in the context of COVID-19 total and utter willingness to collaborate, share, and support each other. Now, additionally, I wanted to shout out Carrie Trump, Dr. Trump, no relation, PhD, board certified behavior analyst at the doctorate level, for the recognition that she and her partner received from some good news. So on May 23rd, Carrie started posting that her significant other was not on social media, and then it was engagement day. That was the plan but she perfectly led us along the journey via photos and what was coming next. And as you could assume, there was some good news. It was a yes, but there was a couple things that I thought were very interesting for behavioral scientists to maybe consider. First of all, this was great news, some good news. It was that and nothing more. There was nothing else being added by Carrie, just the good news. It fit perfectly in SGN's mission statement content that they deliver, share, etc. Sometimes it's tempting as a behavioral scientist to try to extend this and share more of what you do and things like that, but I think this was a great call to not do those things. I don't know necessarily how you would, but it was perfect in the sense of not preaching or overextending the message. It was just some good news. Now inherent in this model of updating this thread throughout the day, it was also inherently built in that there was multiple opportunities to reach SGN. These multiple opportunities to reach SGN paired with, you know, it being on brand for SGN, just increased the probability of this actually making it onto a screen, someone seeing it and sharing it. And I think most importantly, it told a story. This is something that I try to communicate through videos. This storytelling and behavior analysis can have an impact on the world and our science communication. Carrie had me continually throughout the day checking my phone and waiting for the next post, the next update, in anticipation of were they going to say yes? And it ended with a yes. Congrats to Carrie. Follow Carrie if you haven't already on Twitter. Fantastic conversations of what's going on. Very well articulated. One of my favorite Twitter accounts for behavior analysts to follow. I've also linked Sarah if you want to follow along. And I'd love to know what other good news is going on in behavior analysis. Share it down below. Share yours. I'm Ryan O, and that's your Daily Beat.